Welcome to the Parallels Desktop Business Edition part of the demo. I will be showcasing from the perspective of four individuals, John, an IT administrator, Lucy, a library and help desk manager, Stanley, a student, and Alex, an associate professor. Using the university setting as an example, I aim to demonstrate how Business Edition can benefit various industries and verticals by helping to run Windows applications or develop a software on Macs. Let's start with Parallels My Account, a powerful tool for administering Parallels products. Admins can access license keys, view subscription statuses, manage license usage, collaborate with support, and provision Parallels desktop and virtual machines to users. Two types of licenses are available for Business Edition products, such as per-device and per-user licenses. Per-user licensing requires IT to set up integration with the organization's identity provider, but simplifies product activation and license assignments and revocations. The per-device licensing works best as an easy-to-set-up option and in cases like a library, where one computer can be used by many users. For per-device licensing, Parallels My Account offers the sub-licensing functionality. Sublicenses do not expose the primary activation key and can be limited in the number of devices they can activate or the time they are valid. Sublicenses can have dedicated administrators. For instance, John gives Lucy the ability to manage a sublicense key for students that plan to use Parallels Desktop this year. Lucy only sees this sublicense in her account interface. Now she can send invitations to inquiring students. Students receive their personal download link and activation code. If they install using the download link, they don't even need to provide the code, but if they already have Parallels Desktop installed, the code is in the email. After activation, IT can provide students with a Windows image tailored for them, their specialty, or the university. These images can be controlled with endpoint management solutions similar to regular Windows PCs. With per-user licensing, a similar experience can be achieved but there is no license key to use. For example, Alex got a link from IT and uses his university account to log in and automatically activate Parallels Desktop. IT can specify a university-prepared image of Windows to download here too. Setting up this image in Parallels My Account is easy. IT admins can simply select what configuration profile this or that group should use and in the configuration profile editing interface, specify links and checksums for Windows images hosted somewhere in the university network or in the cloud and configuration profiles can also be used to set product upgrade policies. In summary, IT admins can use the Parallels My Account portal to invite users to use Parallels Desktop and facilitate installation. They can also prepare Windows virtual machines, upload them to corporate storage servers, and link configuration profiles to these images, making them available to users. Now, when Stanley and other students have Parallels Desktop installed, Lucy can use Parallels My Account to monitor usage and deactivate unused copies if necessary. We've already discussed my account, but did you know there's another approach for deployment? IT teams can use endpoint management solutions like Jamf or Intune, and this is precisely what John uses along with what we already saw. John makes Parallels Desktop available through a self-service portal for university staff and enforces its installation through policies in the library. It allows him to lock Parallels Desktop to prevent changes to virtual machine configurations, restrict the removal of deployed virtual machines, and limit the setup to only those approved by IT. To do so, John uses the Parallels Desktop deployment package, uploading it to the Jamf portal. This package allows him to specify required settings, license, Parallels Desktop binary, virtual machines, and even add desired applications to the dock. John can fine-tune quite a lot, for instance, he customizes the Parallels Desktop Control Center, changes default support links, and secures access to many operations. Let's take a look at some of the security features Parallels offers in the user interface. There are features like creating time-limited virtual machines for contractors and students, locking Windows user sessions when multiple users share a single virtual machine like in a library, completely isolating a virtual machine from Mac and protecting settings from changes, or restricting various operations with Mac admin or a custom password. In summary, the Parallels Desktop Deployment Package enables deployment with added customizations and no user input required. And the best part? Popular Mac management tools can be utilized for this purpose. I hope you enjoyed the demo and discovered something new about Parallels Desktop. If you have any questions or ideas, 
don't hesitate to share them with the product team. Thank you and see you next time.